So today we are filling up some flower pots and we're going to put some plants in it. We got little Evie, I tied her to the tree so she can get some outside air. And we went to the nursery yesterday and we each picked out a, a house plant so that's what we're doing today. He's helping me out. That one's for him and that one's for mine. Huh? Do you need some help? Okay, hang on. And this is the one that he picked out right here. And then I got my little slider plant. It looked nice. Right here. Oh, there's something outside. Oops, careful. So look what I'm doing. I'm going to grow an avocado tree. Change the water every other day. And look, it's already starting to crack. And this is, it's sitting here for almost a week. These are growing a little bit. So I made a video about planting these seeds in the egg carton, but those aren't really doing that well. I made little cutouts of uh, paper towel rolls and I made this little thing and these guys are growing. So look what baby got me, more starfighter flowers. Can you hear that? There's a million jets flying over my house today. I feel like I can't even hear myself talk, especially when I'm outside. Look how pretty they smell so good. I love these. One week later, they're popping up. That one's still got a little bit to go. Also went out yesterday with my sister and I got jalapenos. That's a little plant. I didn't actually buy jalapenos. Just a jalapeno plant. I wanted so badly to just buy everything. I kept on picking up the basil too. I forgot what kind of basil it was. It was uh, there's a purple leaf one and it was something African blue basil maybe I don't remember but it smelled so good and I just I kept picking it up and then I kept picking up the sweet Italian basil and then I kept picking the other one up and I I really wanted to buy it but at the same time I don't really use basil too much in my cooking and I do like jalapenos so I decided to go with the jalapeno plant instead of the basil plant but now I'm wishing I just had the basil plant to smell because I love the smell of it so much. I just, I don't really like using it in my foods. I also got um, this lavender plant. The last time I was there, they had a whole bunch of little small ones and I was hoping that they had had those again, but I couldn't find them. They were in the same place they were last time. I looked everywhere, but I couldn't find them. So I wanted to do a couple out like um, in the front of my garden. This is where my garden is going. It looks small because I'm kind of far away. Um, but I didn't want it to be giant because this is going to be like my first backyard garden all by myself. So I made it a little small but big enough to put in the veggies that I want to put in. And this is just like the layout. I was just seeing how big it was going to be and how much sunlight was going to like get on it and whatever. Um, I might push a little bit forward because it's a little close to the back. Uh, update ah. on my avocado ah. plant. It's still cracking. I can't really see in there to see what's going on, but it's doing stuff, it's doing things, guys. No roots coming out yet, but it's doing things. This is my lemon balm plant. These new ones popped up and they grew really fast, but they're at the same, they kind of stuck at the same level as the other ones. So this is my first time growing these two, so I'm not really sure what that's doing. and. I did try to grow my own lavender on this side, and I don't know if it just needs time, but I'm not, or if I messed it up. And I totally washed out the seeds, I'm pretty sure, because I accidentally just like threw water on the top, and the water spread everywhere. Who knows? Maybe later they'll grow. I'm not sure. Came out here to dig up my garden, because I'm really behind, and I need to do this. Here. And now I have another project to work on. I think this is about week three, or the end of week three. My sweet peppers are sprouting. I desperately need to plant these. They're probably gonna go bad. The garden is still being dug, so they're probably not gonna go anytime soon.
plant update number, I don't know. These are the two squash plants that are going to make it into the garden. These ones, I mean, I kept to see how they would do, but I don't really like them. And there's really only room for like two, maybe three, so maybe one of these is going to live. The other one is just going to do something else. But we do have the garden all set up, and I'll show you guys the outside view now. My avocado is kind of looking like it might come up sometime this month. <laughs> uh, it's my hot pepper jalapeno plant. Uh, the spearmint is now in here because my lemon bombs were not doing that well. And the ones that were right here completely just shriveled away and died. Also, the squash that plants that were in here are all gone now. As you know, saw them on the windowsill and my little sweet peppers are starting to sprout and I just have the egg carton just like sitting on the side of this container nothing on the lavender that's growing down here so I don't know if that's just a lost cause my palm tree is coming back to life some of it had gotten too much sun and burned um, was it down here I think moving it helped uh, it just looks really fresh and alive and I felt like it was getting way too much sun right by the window and it was just kind of slowly losing that life <laughs> but it looks so much fuller up here and it just looks really happy so that makes me happy <laughs> these guys are doing good really good I'm getting all that little crystal stuff growing on the side of my plant of calcium or whatever on the uh, pot that I should probably wipe off soon because it's getting a little out of hand but that happens also this is the layout I have for the garden the planned layout so I have the strawberries there in uh, the, the ball pack that Haru picked out and we're gonna put those right here and then the squash I'll have like three squash plants um, the peppers I forgot how many I have but you know we're gonna do a row of peppers and then tomatoes and then I have like the sage in the back because they help the tomatoes, the basil because it, basil is really good for tomatoes and peppers, the chamomile is good for peppers and squash, so I put that there, and I have onions, I'm going to put a little bit of onions here, and garlic on this side, I'm probably not going to get porridge because I haven't been able to find it, uh, but if I do then yes, and then the mar and it's for the marigolds that are going to be on the sides, and then down here I'm going to have the, my lavender. I'll probably have two lavenders and then like three lemon balm plants and all of this should help keep away all different kinds of critters and stuff that are needed. I think tomorrow it's supposed to be pretty nice out. I'm going to start, I'm going to go ahead and plant my squash but I have also strawberries going to be planted but I think it's still a little chilly for them. It's all time to plant that so I'm not too worried about doing that yet. And same with the onions. It's about the same time too. In fact that one could be planted a little bit later but so I have those. Um, as soon as the peppers, you know, sprout up some more and it seem, they seem like they can withstand being outside, then I'll plant those outside. My lavender plant, I kind of want to wait until I get another one to plant that outside just so that I don't have one oddball out in the garden. My lemon bombs are all dead. I'm so sad. I have no idea, like, where I went wrong. Hey. Alright, so I got my squash. I think I'm gonna go ahead and plant my strawberries and onions. I know I said I was gonna wait, but I'm gonna go ahead and do them. And I guess we'll just see how they turn out. So, see I got the strawberries planted, I have them marked by little sticks, <laughs> but I did put a little of the dirt that came inside of the bag in there. Hmm. This is the first time I ever did planting by the roots, and it was the weirdest 
the weirdest situation. And then I have my squash. And I just put the two there. I didn't split them up. I know they're going to get really big. But I have the space. So why not? And then I have one there and one there. So I only did... Well, I meant to only do three, but they were already put together. So four, technically. So I planted the strawberries and the squash today. And... Let's see, it's 2 o'clock right now. Mm -hmm. So I might go out there and do the onions, or I might wait until a different day to do that. Oh my god, look at my hair. It's just getting really hot, and because it's like afternoon and the sun is just on that spot, which is good for the plants, it's just not really good for me. <laughs> I was getting really hot and thirsty. And I was just feeling drained, and plus I have, you know, Evie and Haru out there, and they're both getting tired and hot and crazy. Plus it's time to come in and grab a snack. So I might just wait. I'm probably going to wait to do the onions. I might do those around the same time I do the peppers. So hopefully next time there'll be more stuff in the garden. It'll look a lot nicer. I'm... I'm going to work on the outside of it too because that's where I'm going to plant the flowers and stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was kind of a lot and I don't really remember all the days. I have it written down like when I planted stuff and when stuff was starting to sprout and whatever. But I have been keeping track of when I like logged everything. So I don't really know at what point that was when I did it. But if you did enjoy the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe so that you can see the next video when the garden's going to be ready and everything. That'll be exciting, so subscribe. Comments, please, if you know if you have any tips or anything. This is my first like home garden. Before this, I helped my mom, and then I only did container gardening. I grew tomatoes, and... Um, what were those peppers called? The name of it just literally slipped off of my tongue. But it's like a Japanese style pepper. It kind of looks like a jalapeno, but it's not. It's not really spicy. But yeah, I did those last year. And then I just did flowers. So this is my first, like, home vegetable garden. And I'm really excited. <gasps> Um, I remember like my mom's vegetable garden when I was younger, so I'm hoping it can get to like that level, even, maybe even better, I don't know, but yeah, so this is the end, no more talking, <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video, alright, bye!